Today we are talking about how to road trip with a large dog. As you guys may know, we have a Doberman Pinscher named Moose who is sitting with us right here. And he is a big boy, 105 pounds. And he's traveled with us to the lower 48. And we have compiled a list of things that we absolutely need if we're going to take him with us. Let's go. going to talk about the gear you'll want to bring or the item. So the first one is a puzzle toy with jerky beef treats. This is one of Moose's favorite things for a road trip or in the apartment. What it is is a puzzle toy that you put a jerky treat inside and it's mentally stimulating for him. Oh buddy, are you excited? Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> yes, good boy. <laughs> And we also love Calm Extreme toys. They're the black toys that you'll see. Um, they are really good for our tough chewers. Moose is exceptional at tearing apart his toys really quickly. And this is one, this is one like brand that we love to, you know, let him just chew on. Yeah. The next is a slow feeder bowl. This is kind of like a puzzle that you put food in. Um, it's made for dogs and it just helps them use their minds. So when you're traveling a long time, um, it just helps them get their brain exercised. Next on the list is a no spill water dish. We love this so much. Moose is the messiest water drinker ever. Uh, whenever he gets a drink out of a regular bowl, he pulls his head up and water is everywhere. With this bowl that we have, he drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks and it all stays in the bowl. And we love that, especially when we're traveling on the road, whatever. It's nice to like have no water all over the place. Yeah. And then next is a foldable loft. It's just a dog bed that's elevated. You can have your dog have a place anywhere you're at. It helps with training, obedience. Would you say that's about the likes of it? Yeah, I like it for the obedience the most, yeah. Yeah, and it just gives them a place, but it folds up so you don't have to have this big bulky loft in your vehicle. Next is a pet med kit. <laughs> I, I thought I'd trip on this. Um, but this is really helpful for if you're going hiking. We love to hike. Um, and especially if we go to like Colorado or places like that, there might be like snakes or like a cactus if we're down in the southwest or something. Um, if he gets hurt, we have something ready to help him um, for pet sized injuries. And then next is a cooling collar or a cooling bandana. It just goes around their neck. You'll put it in cold water or any water for about 30 seconds to two minutes. It will tell you on the back of the package. And then you put it around their neck and it helps them stay cool. And lastly is a foldable kennel. We have a cloth one that has absolutely changed our lives. We found one that fit Moose. We never thought we would. And we found one that fits him. And it's really awesome because we can fold it up and it's lightweight instead of the really heavy duty kennels that you might find that are like made of like wire mesh and things like that. And we love it so much. It gives him a spot to just go and have his space and his time and <laughs> not bother us and have his time to just relax. All of these things will be linked in the description below, but let's move on. Next is how do you exercise a big dog? Obviously, especially for us when we're in a van, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> He's being a ham. It's not super easy to exercise a dog Moose's size in 60 square feet. Sure, he can get the mental simulation with his puzzle toys and things like that. What are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when it comes time to run and play and all that stuff, he doesn't really have a great option. So what we like to do is we'll stop at rest stops. We have a 50 foot leash for him. You can get even 30 feet or even 15 if your dog's like really short and you don't really need it to go all over the place. And you can just, we just let him run around. We let him sniff. We let him play with toys there and things like that. That really helps him. We also love just going to like city parks and things like that. Yeah. Um, there, as long as you're not right beside a road or things like that, we'll let Moose also off uh, or out with a leash on and let him just kind of run around and play. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like how we exercise Moose on the road and things like that. And sometimes we will stop in a city and we'll walk him around, just taking him for a walk. We get to get out and see more. And like normally if we wouldn't have him, we would bypass those cities. But instead we get out, we take a stroll and that's super awesome for both of us. Yes, and we don't take Moose to dog parks. It's just how we don't. Um, but if you would, that's definitely an option as well. Lastly, 
talk about resources to help you find pet friendly trails, destinations, and even places to go eat. Our favorite is Bring Fido. It's a free app on the App Store or on any store that you get your apps. All you do is you'll download it and it gives you tons of places that you can go eat. I think shop. Um, is there trails on there? Oh, um, maybe. There's like beaches even, on even there. Even activities, like some, some yeah. like boat cruises, like you take your dog and stuff like that. <laughs> but it brings up all the pet friendly locations in the area that you're traveling. We love it. Next is all trails. Like I said before, we love to hike and we love to make sure that Moose can come along with us because there's no better walk than a hike. And so <laughs> we love it when we can take him on hikes with us. And so a lot of times we'll look for hikes, not in national parks, we don't expect many to be dog friendly, but outside of national parks and national forests and things like that, we'll look for a hike that Moose can come with us on. And uh, it'll say on all trails like dog friendly, not dog friendly, things like that. It's a really nice resource to have as well. And then next up, we love using Pinterest. All we have to do is type in pet friendly travel or pet friendly road trips and tons of things come up. There's blog posts, there's YouTube videos, a bunch of recommendations from different people and we love reading those so we can take our buddy. And lastly, we love Google Maps as well. Uh, Google is a great thing because, I mean, you can just go on like a restaurant, for example, and click and see if there's pictures of dogs and if it's dog friendly and things like that. And it comes straight from the restaurant. So you don't need to call and ask or anything like that. Um, it's just there. So we love Google Maps for that as well, just being able yeah. to like put everything out there uh, that we could really need. And I also want to add on our Instagram, it's Tyler plus Molly. We'll put the link below. We always share a bunch of dog friendly travel destinations, hikes, anything that we can bring him. We love sharing. So definitely go follow us on there to get lifetime, or I guess minute to minute updates. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next Tuesday. Bye guys. Bye.